Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we need to use synthetic division to show that 4 is a solution of the equation shown below. So we're going to start with that part. So how are we going to do that? Uh, let's take a look here. We have this 4 degree polynomial, x to the 4 power. So I'm going to put a 1, minus 2x cubed. I'm going to put a negative 2, minus 17x squared, negative 17, plus 18x positive 18 or just 18 and the last one 72 so we're going to list this number and then we're going to take this four and we're going to put it right here and we're going to do what is called synthetic division we're going to drop the four the one first sorry then we have four times one that is four then we're going to add here and we get the positive two right negative two plus four positive two four times two eight negative 17 plus uh, 8, and that will be uh, 9, negative 9 in fact, sorry, 4 times negative 9, negative 36, if we add this we get negative 18, 4 times 18, it, negative 18 is negative 72, and if we add, like I said, add everywhere, we get 0. We should expect to get 0, because this says that 4 is a solution of the equation shown below. Uh, which means is a factor of this uh, 4 degree. So let me show you what that means for us. That means x minus 4, be careful, right? Times what? And now your third degree polynomial is right here. And that will be what? x cubed plus 2x squared right minus 9x minus 18 this is this is the factor form of that four degree polynomial equal zero right okay let me be sure we we know we're gonna stop here right okay um that is the reason we want to do the synthetic division we get this now this third degree polynomial And we're going to solve this 30 degree equation, right? The 30 degree polynomial is, and this, this is the equivalent equation for that polynomial. How are we going to do that? Uh, factoring, and we notice here the uh, factoring by grouping. The uh, first group, x cubed and 2x squared, they have x squared in common, and then x plus 2. Then be careful of the last part. You factor out a negative 9 or you put a minus 9, whatever you want to think. And then we have x plus 2. And that will allow us to see this x plus 2 as a common factor. x squared minus 9. And then we can keep factor out, right? Okay. We, we're going to have... Uh, x plus 2 and x squared minus 9 is the difference of square x minus 3 x plus 3 equals 0 and now we we use the zero product property and we have x plus 2 equals 0 now give us x equals negative 2 one solution of this third degree polynomial which is also a solution for this uh, 4 degree polynomial we start with x minus 3 equals 0 now give us x equals 3 which is a solution of the third degree polynomial but also to the one we start from and one more time zero product property x plus 3 equals 0 that will give us x equals negative 3 as a solution so now we have these three solution for this third degree polynomial and x equals 4 here right? don't forget about that which uh, we start from uh, and that's it if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back on c squared for more help thank you